Y'all remember last week whenever I talked about I got something special coming in? Something that a lot of you might have not seen before? This is it. Okay, so what I got here is something super special sent to me by my boy Phil. We'll get into that a little bit later. I'm just gonna go right into it real quick and show you guys what I got. Let's go ahead and put this one on the floor. So what I got here is an original 1985 Royal. Let's just kind of go a little slow-mo with it so you guys can see just a lot of the detail going on. Very aged shoe, but there's a lot of key points to this shoe that make it a good pickup. Go from the insole, if you want to look inside, you can see how old and dusty and cracked it is to the bottom. Man, this thing smells. They're getting mad at me earlier in the back because I had to just lay it out and it wasn't in the box and they kept coming back like, where's that smell? And I had to keep pointing to the shoe. Okay, here's the other one. We can just do like a little quick spin through. Original 85 that I just purchased from my boy Phil out in Los Angeles. Appreciate Phil for uh, letting me purchase this from you. Um, I've known Phil for a couple years now. He's one of the people that's been into collecting a lot of these 85s. He's been doing it for, I wanna say he told me on the phone the other day, like maybe five, six years now. And I was fortunate enough to be able to get one of these off of him. And he actually took care of me on the price as well too. So shout out to you, Phil. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the knowledge that you put me on. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So what we got here is an original 85. Um, if you look at it, you'll see the midsole is really yellow from over the years. That just comes with aging as well. And one of the things you gotta look for with the 85 is there's two people that buy 85s. You have people that buy 85s because they actually want to wear the 85, and then you have people who buy the 85s because they wanna use it almost as like a trophy display. That is why I got mine. So the cool thing about mine is if you look, you'll notice that there's no shoe glue along the sole. Over the years of wearing it several times, even till this day, the sole will come apart and people will shoe glue it and make it more durable for you to wear. So if you look on both pairs, you'll see that neither pair has the separation. So the sole is still intact. A lot of times you'll see a lot of the back part will chip off and reveal like the actual stitching, which over time can loosen it up as well to wear if you are wearing it or not wearing it, it'll deteriorate and fall apart. Another thing is, when buying any shoe used, even like these black toes, these are used as well, I bought used, is I make sure that it has no heel drag. So for this being a 35 year old shoe, it has very minor heel drag. You'll see right here on the corner, it's just a little bit showing the white, but overall you have a, pretty much the whole sole intact. Now over the years, these things will start to harden. You'll see this, it's almost like a hard plastic. So over the years, it'll start to harden along with the leather will start to harden. So if you feel it, it's not, it doesn't have that same give that it had whenever it was first uh, released back in 85. Which by the way, for those of you who don't know, when the Jordan 1 was first released, it was $65. And here we are now at 180, some of them do 200. Another thing you wanna also keep in mind with the 85s is you wanna look for one with the original laces. So as you can see, these are the original laces. If you get a little detail on some of these, the old plastic. Remember how they used to do that back in the day with the plastic? That's crazy just even looking at it, it's bringing back memories of sneakers from back in the day. How they would crack down the center like right here. Original laces. And then another thing which I'm not too worried about is the original box. In this sense, it came in this box. No original box, I'm not worried about it. In all reality, my boys give me a hard time because a lot of the sneakers that I get in, if I know I'm gonna keep them and wear them for the rest of my life, I throw the box away. Unless it's like a special box, a Travis box, my Strange Love box, my Blue the Gray box. I mean, there's just certain ones, my Easy Oxford Tans, my Easy One Zins. Those, I keep the boxes on because the originality of those is dope. So let's, uh, let's jump right into a cool bunch of fun facts about the 85 and just the Jordan 1 in general. The Jordan 1 was created in 85. It was released from 85 to 86 by Peter Moore, he is the creator of the Jordan 1. He is also the creator of the wings that they created on the Air Jordan logo as well. 
In 85, they released several different colorways. You have the Chicago, Black Toe, Bread, Royal, Black and White, UNC, Storm Blue, Neutral Gray. Oh man, am I leaving anything out? That was 85, and then in 86 is when they switched it up. They did all the metallics and the lows and things of that matter. So between 85 and 86, they released several different variations of colorways of the Jordan 1, and then they took a pause for several years, and they never brought the Jordan 1 back until 1994 when they released it in a Chicago and in a bread colorway. Those were the only two colorways that they brought back. Then again, a short break, and then in 2001, they started releasing Jordan colorways, but not any of the retros, so you have like, was it the metallic silvers, the midnight navies, just to name a few were some of the ones that they released in 2000s, early 2000s. And then it wasn't until 2008 when they started re-retroing the actual colorways from 85 and 86. Some of them honestly haven't actually re-retroed. So you have like the neutral gray, which comes out this year that hasn't re-retroed. And I believe maybe a couple different metallic colorways that haven't actually re-retroed yet. And yeah, man, I'm, I plan on getting the Chicago, the bread. There's a few of those out to find. Black Toe's gonna be the hardest one to find. Uh, Shadow's gonna be the hard, a harder one to find. A UNC, a black and white, like all those. Even, man, I don't think I've ever even seen a Storm Blue original. So some of those are gonna be a little bit more difficult to find. But hopefully by the time I'm done, I'll have at least a good, you know, four or five of them secured. So yeah, that was just a few little facts about the Jordan 1. Hopefully that was informative to you guys. And uh, yeah, man, shout out to Phil. I really do appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to collecting them all. Oh yeah, uh, man, I got those other two things we can show them too. Here, follow me. Just take these things with us. All right, two things. I think this is the last of my flyer fantastic. I saw him post the up tempo. I just, if this is supreme up tempo, that'd be cool. I'll do that, but I doubt he's probably gonna do the classic one. Cool, we're gonna start with this one first. It's on top, it's the smallest one. So this one released whenever the Cactus Jack uh, high release I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. And what he did is he made some little AJ1 mids. Now I didn't know they were mids at first because it didn't say, but then I noticed a little jump man on the tongue, which is cool. I'll let it slide. Here actually we'll do a little 360 view. Little baby planners for like the desk or something like that, the office. Oop. I just put one here, right home. That's cool. Shout out Mr. Flyer Fantastic. You know we love you over here. All right, this one's pretty cool. It's different, it's unique. It's also Mr. Flyer Fantastic. Turn around and you look at it right here. If you see right here, you see the Don Julio. So he did a collab with Don Julio and basically they made a planter out of a basketball. Cool part about it is underneath it is the agave plant. This one isn't real, of course, but that's the cool little collab they did. And if you look, they did like a, it's more of a resin. So that one's a lucite. It's a clear lucite. This one's more of a resin casting. And honestly, like I kind of want to just keep this in here and just put like some fake dirt or something like that maybe, or like little rocks. Definitely cool though. Nothing crazy. Another little piece for the cribbo. Shout out Mr. Flyer Fantastic. I love you man. Your work's cool. I got I got a tin in the green ones and I got a tin in the red ones. The green ones. Kayvon told me you're going to buy. Appreciate you. Yeah, man, of course. I'm going to put together a pack for you too, man. Okay. So you think like an XL would work on some of the pants I want to give you of ours? Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Do you personally like the green ones or the red ones better? I, I like all of them too. You, you like all colors? Yeah, 
I have the red ones. I prefer the green ones. Oh yeah. I prefer the green ones. I just think it's a I better. Like the I got the red ones though too. Yeah, I just think it's a better color palette when it's like the color palette goes better. Yeah. Maybe if the red ones had different laces, but that color palette with the green, white, and that orange hits right. real nice. It looks like Miami University, so. What are you in town for? Oh yeah, I get to uh, see the doctor real quick. Nice, everything good? Yeah, everything's good. I'm gonna go see Yeah, how that can be. Yeah. Your, that can be dreadful when he tells you something else. Yeah. For, uh, uh, for your knee? No, uh-uh. My knee I know, because I know Dallas has a big, like, well-known doctor. He did my knee surgery last year, though. Yeah, see? Crazy yeah, boy. yeah see? Cool. Yeah, he see. did my knee surgery last year. Yeah, I know Dallas has a real, well, well-known doctor like in the world for like dealing with like knee surgery and stuff. Yeah. You know Kayvon from just playing? Yeah, Kayvon. Um, I guess y'all play together or play together now, right? Yeah. yeah, we play together, but um, cause I know they I got came out, we came out the same year and I had met him doing it at 16. But. Nice, that's what's up. Yeah, Kayvon's been a good friend of mine since his entire journey from the Cowboys oh, to where he is now. Sure now I'm doing some socks of ours, super cozy, and then our Dodgers, PCHLA hat, and then our police hat. Off white dunk, green green colorway, very very nice. Fragment three. Tuxedos, definitely tuxedos. Travis Scott, Asha Royalty. V Law, cutting so. What's going on guys, it's your boy Larry. Back at it again with a couple other unboxings. A few new things in that I wanted to go over with you. This one is from the McDonald's and Cactus Jack collab back in October, I believe. They had a special meal at McDonald's and he dropped a lot of merch with it and we're finally, you know how he takes a couple months to ship couple months to get your stuff so we're finally getting it in so I'm pretty excited about this been looking forward to seeing what it looked like for a while now so here we go we're gonna start with my main bay right here giant chicken nugget pillow super dope at one point on StockX these things were going for like six seven hundred dollars something ridiculous I think now everybody started getting their pillows in the, the prices came down a little bit but super dope body pillow definitely gonna be holding this thing tight tonight. Next, we've got the classic McDonald's trays. Says I'm loving it. Got your little Cactus Jack logo. Got a couple of these in here. And uh, uh, these, I don't know if it's plastic, but it feels like metal almost. No, maybe it's just heavy. That thing's got some serious weight. Couple extra hats. Already had these in stock, but I guess we we're missing some from our order. This is interesting. This is the Cactus Jack Styrofoam Cup 10 pack. And when you open it, they are plastic cups. Definitely not a Styrofoam Cup 10 pack. Uh, however, I'm gonna let that slide. Why would you finesse me into thinking they were gonna be Styrofoam? Just to give me some plastic. Last but not least, we got the dope, dope, Tin lunch box. If you had one of these as a kid, you are a G. If your girl didn't have one of these as a kid, she's probably too young for you, bro. So, nice little haul right here. Got some cool little products. We'll go ahead and get these on the floor and see how long they last. Next thing we got, this is super dope. I'm gonna start with this. Cool little letter from the man himself. What a year, I wanted to try to close it out by making a few of my closest friends and family smile with an early look at my fifth Crocs collaboration. We really had fun with this one. You're one of the first to have these. I hope you like them. Love, Posty. So shout out to Post Malone. Got a dope little friends and family box. All of the new Crocs. I'm keeping one of these for sure. So I will unbox mine because they are sealed and they all come with his separate little, uh, I don't know, what do the kids call these things? What are they, charms? I'm too old to know. But either way, definitely gonna be keeping these. Let's take a look and uh, see what these things look like. All right, pretty sweet actually. So all black, 
Got the back heel strap, super country, nice and comfortable. And then of course you can add the special little posty charms to them, you know, and uh, give it a whole different custom look, however you want to put them on. These little straps are kind of gnarly. Got the P on the side for posty. Um, yeah, definitely keeping these going straight to foot. Matter of fact, we can throw these in the trash. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Got you a quick little first-hand look at the new Posty Crocs. Got to check out some of the Travis Scott and McDonald's merch that came in, as well as some of the accessories. These will do very, very well. Um, accessories typically do, especially things like this that'll kind of flood back some memories of that old lunchbox, the G.I. Joe one you probably had as a kid. So I'll catch you guys next time.